feeling about this. Oh. Probably right. Okay, so in order to play this game, I know there are uh, some uh, non-Star Wars fans, and maybe yeah. it's just some casual Star Wars fans. So, a uh, little uh, crash course. This is a Tauntaun that Luke Skywalker is riding. He, they are native to the ice planet of Hoth. Uh, mammalian. They're mammals. Oh, okay. um, And uh, they... Uh, there's a great quote by Han Solo. He says, I thought they smelled bad on the outside. And the reason he says that is because there is a scene where Luke has just been attacked by a snow monster. And uh, Han rescues him. Han and Chewie rescue him. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're going to be stuck out in a blizzard overnight. And so in order to save Luke's life, uh, Han grabs the lightsaber, cuts open the belly of the Tauntaun. All of the guts ooze out. And Han uh, jams Luke into the carcass of the Tauntaun to keep him warm from the body this heat. This is a nice little history lesson. Pretty good, huh? I know, this is good. I'm and, uh, right. and Han says, uh, and I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to need to know that to play this game. Also, and oops. now, <laughs> I got a bad <laughs> feeling about this. Yeah. Try this again. It's hard with those gloves. It is. The gloves make it tricky. Uh, also, Another right. scene from the same movie, Empire Strikes Back. Uh, Han Solo is uh, frozen in carbonite. And he is frozen in carbonite as a test because Darth Vader wants to freeze uh, his son, Luke Skywalker, who at that point we don't Spoiler. realize is his son. <laughs> and uh, he wants to test it on Han Solo okay. uh, to make sure that uh, Luke doesn't get killed in the process. And uh, Han is expendable. So Han gets frozen. And he is stuck in carbonite, although he is fully alive, but presumably unconscious or in some sort of a coma. And he lasts for, uh, did some digging on this one, about a year. Okay. About a year. Okay. So here's the question. All that to say, this is, this is the question. Would you rather sleep inside a tauntaun overnight? Gross. Or... Sleep encased in carbonite for a year. Oh. Discuss. And the Tauntaun's dead? The, ta the Tauntaun is dead. <laughs> is that obvious? Uh, I don't well, know. you know, when you cut open an uh, animal and the guts spill out, usually they don't live for very long after that. <laughs> Not that that makes sense. We could try that first. later. I'm just see. trying to come up with some details here that might help me. Okay, so let's uh, see what we got. You think this over. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, uh, Jeff Jones says Tauntaun, hands down. Interesting. Uh, confident. Sharon, Jeff also confident. Tauntaun. Tauntaun. Um, guts, Mary Beth, though, guys, sleep in Tauntaun. Guts. It's warm. It's guts. You don't want a year. I, I want to know. Do you not want to lose the year of your life? Is that what we're afraid yeah, of? Yeah. What's yeah? Is that uh, Martha <laughs> says overnight so long as I sleep through the night. Uh, Tyler, I don't think Tauntaun. you will though, Martha. Uh, I'm this is gross, about Paul. That. Overnight comes with snacks too. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I can't even. Paul. Okay, Jody. Uh, Carbonite all the way. Yeah, so I got, finally got I'm a carbonite. Like Jody. I, I don't care what happens in that year. I don't want to go in guts. I'll barf all night. Catherine, Tauntaun. Oh, you guys. Scott, Carboniferous, like a vacation. Oh. So that's what, uh, oh, interesting. That's okay. what Ginny said. I asked yeah. her at supper, and she said carbonite because she said it would be cool to wake up and see the new world. Because you imagine there like a lot of things have changed, right? Yeah. Could you imagine like. We wake up, it's like the Cubs won the World Series this year. What? <laughs> I missed it. What? Are you kidding me? Can't believe it. Uh, let's see. Helen, also in the carbonite. Carbonite. Right. I think I'm with Helen. I think I'm with, yeah. Brian, I would want to be unconscious for a year. Okay. That's, I mean, it, I could see the perspective. And here's there. a good because Ellen, Tauntaun, can't miss a year of my kids. Oh, Ellen. Right? Now <laughs> that's bringing a whole different depth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would, thought we were in fic fictional land where we didn't have kids and... We're just hanging out in, where's this place? Where they Hoth. Hoth. Okay. <laughs> uh, did you see how sweaty Han was after being in Carbonite? I bet he had a funk on him to rival oh. those Tauntaun Oh! Inside. True. Yeah. And then there's the Carbonite sickness. He's temporary. You're temporary blind. Oh. Wait, you um, didn't mention that, did you? Well, I, I assumed people know. <laughs> Did you know that? How long was he blind? <laughs> Christy says the recovery was kind of a pain, but guts exactly, oh, right? Guts. 
Uh, I'm not sure. I know. Uh, Catherine, could we go back a year when you know what had gone right? So like yeah. you're like skip through a year kind of a thing, uh, like that you I'm know. I'm thinking of the Avengers and the blip. Oh like, you yeah, can't go back. The blip happened. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, is that what it's called? The blip. Uh, Martha gets practical. You get a certain age, and you may not have a year to lose. <laughs> oh, can't argue with that. So guts all the way. Uh, huh? Hey, Jared. Uh, Jared says Tauntaun. Tauntaun, Tauntaun. from there Jared. Um, Helen makes a good point. Haven't we been in Carbonite since oh. March 2020? <laughs> yeah. That's true. Uh, that's what, the, very true. you know what Han said on, uh, March 13th, 2020? I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, and you know what adult I just said? Oh, it's a job. That's a lie. Yep, that's a lie. What about right, you? Did you weigh debate. in? Who? That's a good question. I. You're hesitating. I I I would probably do the tauntaun for the time. You sound issue. really confident about this. I don't know. It's a tough call. <laughs> it's a tough call. I'm, I'm glad it is a decision I do not have to make. Let's just put it that way. For now. For now. <laughs> for now. All right. Good stuff, guys. All right. Let's move on. Uh, thank you for that spirited debate. Uh, it's a question we're all wondering. Right. What would you rather rather At do? At least we're more prepared if, if the situation arises. Absolutely.